In the past, hemp and flax were used for ropes, clothing, paper, fishing nets, sails, food and medicine. After the Second World War, hemp and flax were replaced with cotton and synthetic fibers. For a long time, hemp has been associated with the growth of marijuana. Therefore, only since 1992 in Europe and seven years later in the US, has it been allowed to grow drug-free industrial hemp. Industrial hemp is especially interesting for its fibers, of which only the male plants with a low percentage of psychoactive compound THC are used. Today, there seems to be an increasing interest in alternatives to oil-based products. So, it is time to change our attitude towards the use of natural fibers such as flax and hemp. What opportunities do these old natural materials offer? And what are the benefits and obstacles if hemp and flax are used in the building industry? That's what we're going to answer in this video. Where are these interesting materials coming from? The suitable climate and soil mean that hemp and flax can easily grow in Northwest Europe. Within three to four months, the crops are ready to be harvested. In a study by the European Environmental Agency, hemp and flax produced very good ecological results when compared with a selection of 14 other crops, such as potato, wheat and rapeseed. Hemp and flax are fast-growing crops and have the advantage of needing less water and pesticides than other crops. Hemp and flax have a good favorable effect on soil structure also, because of their deep roots. Both plants deliver products that can be used with little or no treatment. Untreated, they are 100% recyclable, compostable and biodegradable. The cultivation of hemp and flax is CO2 negative, which means the plant stores CO2 during its growth. Applications for the entire hemp plant and flax plant are numerous. For example, the seeds are used in the food industry for oil to impregnate wood and to create paint and linoleum. The stem consists of long and short fibers. The short fibers are used for diverse insulation materials or processed into composite materials. The hemp shives are processed into fiber boards, hempcrete and animal bedding. The long fibers are mostly used for textile applications. After harvesting, manufacturers generally treat the fibers for several purposes. For binding, the material can be mixed with polyester, cornstarch or polylactic acid. For fire retardancy, a fire resistant agent, usually sodium borax or ammonium salts, is added. To increase their longevity, fibers are treated with antimicrobial products. After the first processing steps, the fibers are pressed into boards or rolls of different sizes. These so-called non-woven felts and panels are used as insulation materials. The applications and performance are comparable with traditional insulation materials such as mineral wool. Fiber boards for chip or particle boards can be used as wall panels, inner parts of doors and floors. In addition to the fact that hemp and flax are favorable agricultural and environmentally friendly, they have good technical properties also. The technical properties of the fibers such as high strength, stiffness and their light weight are especially suitable for processing into biocomposites. A biocomposite is a composed material and consists of fiber and a binder. The open structure of the fibers and the moisture regulating property of flax and hemp make them good material for thermal and acoustic insulation. Thus, the materials are perfectly suitable to apply in a vapor open insulation construction. Natural, vapor open building materials encourage another way of building. However, there has been limited exploration of this aspect. More experiments are needed to measure and compare the dynamic relationship between the insulation value, the relative humidity and the health advantages of different constructions. The demand for natural insulation material 
is still limited because the construction industry is fairly conservative. It prefers working with proven and commonly used materials. Spreading the word can help to inspire customers, architects, project developers, housing cooperatives and governments.